Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 296. We got Lucia Zero, Moonlight Bolero, Space 54. She'll be leading some little beans. Shapeshifter Nino, Guardian Pina, Imposterina. Why did you get immediate? Whatever. You got immediate. Empty tome. In the background, I am listening to Cecilia Immergreen and Nanashi Mume of Hulu Live English. Gen 2 Promise and Gen 4 Justice. They are playing Halo Reach for the first time. And I am going to be reacting to that. They're currently on Tip of the Spear, the Force mission. They're going through like the Central Refinery after a bit into the mission. After they lose their Warthog. And they are having fun. And don't know much about Halo, so... Having their troubles, but Reach is a pretty easy campaign. In fact, uh... Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 4 is fairly pathetic. Uh, it probably actually ends up in the middle of the pack just because 4 and 3 are kind of weak. Uh, difficulty wise, but it's maybe easier than Combat Evolved and Infinite. Uh, let's see. How would I rate this actually? 2 hardest and 5 Combat Evolved, maybe? Then probably reach. Then infinite. Four. Then some variant of infinite four and three. But that's it. That's it. I'm not counting wars and stuff, because wars is definitely the hardest just do the way how legendary works there. Okay, they're just shooting up some elites. They don't actually know. Like I said, they know so very little. They barely knew the planet's name is Reach. They don't know they're Spartans. Certainly don't know Halsey. They barely know what the Covenant are. I think it's all like one species for a while. Granted, I don't think most people would know that hunters are actually not an actual species. One solid object and instead are just a bunch of worms just salting together into a bipedal shape. Because that's weird. So that's Halo. Also, this is Space 54 and Vampire Survivors, and, well, nothing's gonna happen. Yep. And I should get them on screen so I can actually watch instead of just listening. Alright, they're in the... Oh, what is it called? The not Wraith thing. Not a ghoul. Revenant. The Revenant. The red thing. Which is a fun vehicle, but really bad. Like, you just won't kill anything ever with that. Reach's weapons were just so wretched. Absolutely terrible. The DMR was fine, but the assault rifle is pathetic, and... It's sh God, I don't even know what it's called. The charge rifle? The Covenant charge rifle is one of the worst weapons in history. The concussion rifle was fun, but absolutely pathetic, too. Uh, the storm rifle... Heck, is it Plasma Spinner? Whatever they want to call it, it's just worse than the rifle to play with. Oh, they're getting beaten up by a Wraith and the Revenant. <laughs> oh, they just lured it into going after a cliff. Oh. Celia's getting her bubble shield back, yay. She likes the bubble shield, that's neat for her. Oh, this is requires tier G Su. I, I should have gotten that with the armadillo. Oh well. Okay, no matter where. Don't need. Can't need the. Mad Grubin. It's like a first grabber. I've been hoping for other. I don't know whether that was the, Valero Arcana or not. And yeah, they're at the first anti-air tower now. I still don't know if you can wipe it out before you wipe out all the other groups. Oh, they died. Checkpoint. Oh man, their checkpoint is far back. Oh yeah, they didn't get enough kills to get a checkpoint. Ouch. On them. Creative, creative content. Man, this is being recorded way too late. I had so much time because I got Flare and Weenie Wee quest done early. And yet, then I pissed away another six hours before I started recording. Go figure. 
Well, granted, I didn't piss it away. A good chunk of it was at least trying to set up my streams for next week and doing more applications. But who knows about elsewhere? Let's Eh, power survivors. Oh, I'm so close to the end. There's only a few more for the fifth wave. Then it'll be the Ilmalise intermission. Can you beat Ilmalise with every character in one video? Yes. It's just not going to be very interesting, so I'm going to rant about some nonsense. Or who knows how long. Maybe I'll talk about some of my other World of Warcraft PvP moments. Because I got a good one when it's Paladin. It? That should be fine. Sapphire Mist! Sapphire Mist! Double lasers! Uh-oh. Their stream's getting laggy. Wasn't when I was going TV-wise, but why is the internet doing it? It's not like this would be countering it. Oh, wait. They have a Marine in them, too. No. Is it her? Why is the number... Oh! Okay, Celia's the one that's actually streaming Mume's secondary. I was wondering why the number was over the driver, but that was Mume driving, and Celia was just shooting out the side. I mean, the new needle rifle is fun and all, but it's not like any better than the carbine. Pistols crap, plasma pistols crap. Just got really bad arsenal. But your grenades are huge and like, eh, whatever. Even if my grenades hit the whole map, I would still somehow miss. Thank you, Infinite. Infinite's got a very good weapon set up, except for like the Commando, which I hate. And whatever that new rifle is. Oh, breaking out of bounds. Assault rifle and Infinite was so good. Oh, Bash, you gotta Bash. Bash the Wraith. Uh-oh. No, she didn't even plant the grenade. Oh man, they don't understand how to hijack a vehicle while the tanks. There we go. There we go. One still there. Hijack this wraith. Just punch it. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Punch it, Emmergreen, punch it. B. 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 Now jump off and grab it. Out of car. Yeah, she has to get. Oh man, that dang tricky hurts. But I know the. I know the reason that they added the turrets to the tanks was just to stop them from being too overpowered by one guy. But it's so dumb in Reach how the scorpion you use has the turret when it sh really shouldn't. It should just be machine gun in front of the driver. But Reach a Scorpion is miserable and unfun. The thing is literally so slow it can't go up a slight incline. I suppose that's my issue with Reach's all power setup. It's just based entirely around the precision weapons. And I guess the pipe. Uh, probed pipe. Oh, the grenade launcher is really good. Probed pipe. But everything else is kind of weak or pathetic and uninteresting. And of course the nonsense of like, oh hey, let's get brutes going again. When they shouldn't be anywhere near each. Uh, Boogaloo or Awake? Hell, it's so far enough that it doesn't matter. Yay, rewards points. I really should turn those off. So they don't get interfering. After all, that's what they... Oh yeah, they were getting bombarded by Randa requests earlier in their stream, too. Hilarious. <laughs> really, I should do it while recording. Send them a friend request while recording to annoy them. And then I'll be double famous. Man, they're still at the first tower. Uh oh, hunters. Wait, maybe. 
They're at the second. I swear they're only at the first, but... I did not play Reach all that much campaign-wise. Like, I can memorize it to the absurd degree I have. With one or, or Comet Evolve 2 or even 3. Boy, could I pull off some nonsense in Comet Evolve. Heck, I think I even more time on ODST. Okay, they're teaming up to take down that hunter. Hunters always just seem to get more and more brutal as the series goes on. Those high value targets in Infinite were murderous. More chest, more chest action. Yeah, they have. Alright, A game blow, gun blowing up. Uh, I don't think this is the Falcon section. I think they still got more vehicling to go through. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about at this rate of except other people. Who knows when I'll continue with my Tarakon. On and around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a rally point? No, I don't think... Hmm. Okay, yeah, they're at the Falcon section. So I'm fortunate this is about to end, but I'll get to the next one ASAP. Oh no. Okay, yeah, there's death. No skipping. It's Carlo Kart time with Lucia Zero. Uh, yeah, sure, Sapphire Miss is fine. And in the background, I'm listening to Mume Nanashi and Immigrant Cecilia of Hula Live English playing Halo Reach. They are on the tip of the spear, the Force Mission, and they just got put in the gunner section of the Falcon. And fun thing about the Falcon, if you move them ahead of time, they will completely mess up their pathing and you can get yourself stuck and require yourself to, to play the entire level. It's horrifying. It's also brutal on hard. Or legendary. Man, was that annoying. It's probably the hardest section on legendary. Also really annoying. Alright, in the background we have Shapeshift Tornado, Imposter Rina, and Scientist Mina, who is again wasting her potential on a stage that doesn't really affect anything. Oh, at the end of the section, they're about to... They sank a spire, which means I actually lost, I uh, didn't check the forget stage while I was getting this set up. But, well, it's about to blow up. Bye-bye. So even these ones get beaten by just then. That's good to know. Sure, they could have just, you know, had the falcons land outside the barrier and then foot slog it, but you gotta destroy the, you know, vehicles and kill the pilots. Well, that is the most dangerous job in any fictional game. Like, seriously. I don't think there's a single helicopter pilot who lives in Resident Evil. And even if there is, it's extraordinarily low. Like, maybe what's-his-face, actually? No, the guy who extracts Hunk a lot survives, and I guess Barry. Uh, oh man, the jetpacks are so terrible. Wee, they're jetting, packing around. As you know, you have a choice between running fast or jetpack. That is sort of makes sense. Why the hell do these Spartans have any, any limitation on how long they can run? That makes no sense. No, the jetpack should just drop if they die and they can re-get it. Uh, they, aren't, they probably won't find Bob. Also, it's really kind of lazy how they just use all the multiplayer maps or campaign maps as multiplayer spots. There's so much I can criticize about Reach. There's not a lot I can criticize about Vampire Survivors. 
I suppose I'm just doing it as a counter battery to people going a Gaga over it and hitting on 4 and 5. I enjoyed my time enough in 4. 5 less so, it was kind of a huge mess. But infinite's pretty great. But all that whole bungee magic stuff when they were just mostly bungee people anyway. More about how Microsoft does its stupid contracts. I don't even know why. Not even a greed reason, because they'd make more money with better games. Microsoft is weird. Oh, whatever. Hey, that's a lot of chickens for a lot of health. Wow. Yep, yep. They're doing king of the world. Just level up. Yeah, he'll just get sucked into a just event, so that's a good position for him. Huh. Brother! And I also watched a lot of Mori Calliope play Dark Souls 3, and even Heiko Spales play some Dark Souls Remastered. The rat is having a lot of trouble. Well, Calliope chewed through with very little trouble. Yep, get eaten, Drowner. Get eaten, Drowner. Drowning, Karin. Uh, after this is Sword Base. Long Night of Solace. After that's. The hell is the name of the mission? I guess it's New Alex. No. The one where you control the Falcon should be New Alexandria. I, I can't remember. Uh, Winter Contingency. Wow, double cherry box. I can't get tier G suit out. George Gunner. Because I know I want a vehicle that's worthless if you don't have a very specific campaign only NPC in it. It's a lot of weird, awkward stuff. This man is noble being terrible at doing anything. Holy crap, I can't actually remember a time they've actually did anything neat or cool. Or f even funny. They're just sort of there being annoying, doing nothing. Man, I still remember the time I watched some Spartan Forge just solo a Wraith on Legendary, because, heck, that was crazy. I didn't touch it at all. You know, you got the legendary sniper marines and rocket launcher marines. You got a ton of stories about their nonsense. But these dudes, who knows? Who cares? Man, Mouse Arnold Sanctuary is going to be weak. Weak. And then, of course, Empty Tome doesn't get picked because I have all the minis to grab. Go figure. Yeah, they're still trying to get into the spire. Yeah, Cecilia was trying to jump back into the, like, overhang bridge. But man. Definitely not finding Bob here. The born on board. Alright, she's gotten up tied up of the, the base structure. Uh, get in the gravity lift. Ooh. Man, Achievement Hunter's lasso run of this was so hilarious. Too bad now it's tainted forever. Yeah, we're cooking with gas. Oh, lasers everywhere. No, stop, never stop. And I'm not maxing out anything anytime soon. This will literally end in a few seconds. I have to hurry. Get to the end. Oh, hey, she got the sword. Hurry up and get just vented. Why isn't even that firing off? It's not like you have unjust ejection. Oh, uh, what? Is the time just so bad because of no empty tome? Huh. Well, that did not last long. 200, they're at the end, they have completed the tip of the spear.
And my stats were terrible. Thanks for messing around. More vampire survivors as we continue with Lucia Zero, Imposter Arena, Scientist Mina, and Mago Imposter Arena. And in the background, I am listening to Mume Nanashi and Ember Green Cecilia play Halo Reach. They are at the cutscene for The Long Night of Celis, where they are listening to the entire UNSC ground army at Reach being lost to one Covenant ship because Reach is kind of dumb like that. Like, seriously, it's one ship. I know it's the strongest, second strongest Covenant ship, but seriously. UNSC can fight evenly on the ground. It's the space battles they lose. Nope, one supercarrier is just conquering the planet with no trouble. And apparently the entire UNSC nuclear stockpile is not bloody available because I... Uh, it's just so much nonsense. Hell, I know that's fake because one of the Spartan training grounds was a nuclear storage facility. And grief. Yeah, they just could have done Fall of Reach. It's a doomed Spartan too, but then they had to enter all this nonsense. Oh, I'm just endlessly griping. It's not like they know or care. Alright, yeah, time for Sword Base. Or, no, is this Sword Base? No, it's like some other name. Oh, I'm just gonna call it not Sword Base. Saber base. Yeah, Saber base. That makes sense. Oh, man. Fire, fire, light the fire. All my energy goes towards complaining. Also, this is bat country. Go down. Laser down. Laser down. Oh my gosh. Not a single chicken from the bonus, huh? Okay, they're just going through this starter stuff. Which is not problematic at all. What a heavy rock thing for them about to lose horribly. Blue blooded. You know, for the longest time I thought jackals and elites were the same species. It was like different variants or whatever. My thing is, back in the original Comet Evolved, he shot a hunter just the right angle. They actually bled green like a flood. So it was, that was funny. Just maximize my growth. Who cares about anything else? Just grow. I'm not going to use Mina effectively at all. Unfortunate. Good thing these are going to be a short video. Da, 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 da. Get them chickens. Get them shooting bastards. Yowch. Aw, oh, Moomay may have just shot on her. Oh no. So I don't know where this is a regular one or a Bolero. But I'm going silent. I'm going old and I'm going to the sanctuary. Good god. I woke up so late. Literally 20 minutes before I was supposed to start my stream. That was bad. Well, at least I got it done early, and then this round doing nothing. Man, was Noel under power for actually beating that boss rash, too. Alright, they're in the facility. The wraith is irrelevant, don't bother with it. Mm hmm, hmm. Where are you at, Sapphire Miss? There you are. Just through the facility. You're playing a boy, you can't do no boys allowed. I mean, you could have switched to a woman, I just... you didn't. No aliens and no homers. But you're allowed one alien and a homer. And just going through the weird maze-like facility.
Yep, they're just waiting. There's, well, Vampire Survivor's action on screen. Ready the Saber for launch. This time with George instead of the demo. Where it was... Carter. I think it's Davis. Carter, he has... No... Anything. Oh, I thought I had a grenade there. Huh. More level. No, it's controller three. That's the level. Sword time, but she's gonna die in space. It's also funny that they automatically presume every single trooper. Wait, why the hell are they troopers? At the very least, they should be Marines, and if not, they should be Navy Special Operations Warfare units that accompany you. Huh. Anyway. Sabers! Sabers launching it from everywhere. Armadillo. Maybe I can actually get my evolution off today. I believe it is. Tier Jisoo. Oh, is it fully maxed Tier Jisoo? That... I think it's maxed, yeah. Oh gosh, it's going into space! Too bad I couldn't hold it out until Space 54. Yeah, and then the Long Night of Solace is suddenly in an inexplicably awful reach and back in space. And there's a Corvette just sitting around. That's just going over to them. Man, like just, I usually just sponge information because I don't want to think because thinking hurts, but man, just talking about it makes me realize how much of everything in Reach is just plotty. Like everything goes, like everything that exists exists to serve the plot, but it's really ham-fisted in Reach. What the heck is she doing? Yeah, space fighting. Uh, achievement hunter lasso. This was so fun. They just plowed this stage. Everyone is ex expecting it to be the most dreaded one of them all, but no, they ripped through it. They had a positive score at the end. In fact, they will probably do better on lasso than these two are about to do on normal. Also, you need to, if you really want to use the saber correctly, you have to walk it off control mode into free action mode, but that's a troublesome prospect. Face! Hi, Sada. This is probably the most memorable one, along with the New Alexandria thing. Oh, well, and I guess the ending, but meh. Take out all those banshees and seraphs. There's my pronto laser. Nothing wins this. Double laser. Endless laser. All oh, laser. You gotta switch between them cannons and them missiles really well. Destroy the friends. Laser, laser, never stop lasering. Okay, they're getting used to missiles and cannons. Cannons to break down shields and missiles to do the whole damage. Oh, right. Also, phantoms all over reach. Why? They should be using spirits, the tuning fork ones. Makes no sense. This is something actually Halo Wars got right. They used spirits exclusively in Halo Wars. That wasn't even Bungie that made Halo Wars. That was some other company. Chest, chest, imposter tongue, and legionnaire. Wow. 
Free falling, free winning. Ha! Huh. Just an endless line of imposters. And yet the cats are still dangerous enough. That doesn't matter. Pew pew. Don't worry, one of them is going to crash into the station at some point. Uh, and the season still isn't online. Shoot friends, shoot all your friends. Seraphs were first introduced in Fall Reach. You know, the one that made sense. Let's blow them all up with our lasers. Our lasers. Ah, uh, they just completely ignored the cannon missile tutorial. I mean, I forgot about it for a while, because I actually didn't get a pop-up about the cannons the last time I played Reach. But I got that memorized now. If I ever play Reach again in my life, I will definitely remember that. In them cannons, in those cannons, right. Switch to your cannons. Switch to your cannons, Zimmer Green. Yeesh, maybe I should just send a message saying shoot them with your cannons. Oh, that would be awful. Absolutely awful. Open me up for a liability. There she goes, she's finally figured it out. Yep, she's got it. She just needs to make sure it's consistent. Bloody tear! Three. Four, five. One, two, three. Base. Four. Four. Eh, not that I care or need it that much. All right, station weapons are online, and this is over. Time right, for the next one. Three million, one nine, one two. Wow, miles of familiar, huh? More vampire survivors with the moonlight bolero. This time it's astral stare with Lucia Zero. Megalo Imposterina is not here. That's a regular Imposterina. A horse and Bill Riser. Get that Arcana, got one. In the background, I'm listening to Mume Nanashi and Cecilia Emigrain play some Halo Reach for their first time. No, it's not Old Sanctuary first. They are currently on Long Night of Solace in the Saber section and are going to be calling it after they beat the stage. So they barely figured out how to get the cans running and are still struggling even with the station online. Oh man, I should not have ran through my dudes like that. Anyways, and this is Astral Stare. Yay, Astral Stare. Destroy everything. Oh yeah, they don't know how it goes. Fast player could probably beat Halo Campaign in just one sitting. One old sitting. I think I mentioned this before, but one of the funniest things around Infinite's release is I went to watch Co Carnage play through the whole Halo series. He asked at one point what the most difficult Halo game, and he was flooded with everyone saying two. And he was just like, wow, I can't believe chat was that in sync. Uh, neat. Oh dear, oh my. Oh, I can hear them controller snaps. Actually, now that I think about it, I heard my controller snapping a lot when I was checking the audio for Flare and Wiener requests. I don't know why. It shouldn't have been catching that. Hmm. Maybe I ag messed something up on my settings and I didn't realize it. No. Most settings should be the same. 
Maybe I moved the knob on the back of the microphone. I doubt it. Or maybe maybe it's because the controller was in a different position compared to here. Right now it's uh I got the volume concentrating toward the front of the mic. And the controller is way in the back. It's a good like two feet away from the back. So it barely should be caught if at all. Well, if I was controlling the computer, it would have been in front of the mic. So it would have been under the desk. It should have been under the desk. Not like I can hear it snap. But man, when I hear it on the recording, it's just so obvious. Oh yeah, they're just calling quits before they even beat long. Like this. Oh, well. well. That's three missions. Four, four missions down. They got the two city missions, a sword base, and then the final. That yeah, was fast. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do after. A lot of fun. Maybe they'll do the series. I really want to watch a YouTuber play something. All four of them. Four groups. Four somethings. More people, the merrier. Oh, they're talking to. Colin is not speaking old Dutch. Abrupt in. Well, I had my stuff abruptly too. So that means I'm just very professional. Lasers, lasers everywhere. Uh, Watson and Calliope played some Reach at one point. I think they only got to the end of the third stage. And then I read that Desmond and Altair did it as well. And they were on Legendary, so for their first time, so that was not a good idea. The little legendary is famous for a reason. Our right, Xbox. See you later, Emma Green. See you later, Nanashi. Well, it'd be weird if I did, but who knows. And when they come back, they will probably have to replay the whole stage after this point because they didn't hit the saving quit correctly. Or the data will somehow get corrupted. Or mess up. Ah, inexplicable pacifist stalker. Always helpful. More chest action on a character that shouldn't be getting chess. Oh god, short gun. I can get Pronto Beam off of just regular tier Jisu. Also, Mina has run through all of her things, so I won't actually get a really one with her. I mean, the Sammy one was fine, but it's not in it. I can actually get to any of the doors to move. I'm out pro musics. Uh, I should look for something else to watch. I should just do a... It's gonna be Matara's second Space Marine 2. Not Thursday, so Scarlet's not doing Space Marine 2. Quite far away from Thursday. Well, next Thursday. Um, guess I could get back to watching Bay. Last time I saw, she was trying to get around Hellkite Bridge. I actually watched all of Mori Dark Souls 3. So, yeah, I'll probably go to Bay Bridge in, in Dark Souls 3. Bales! No, oh, Kiara has her life. Ah, uh, what a guest list. And yet, I will not be watching it. I don't watch much of Kiara. I'll probably and deliberately get me crucified, but hey, I have difficulty knowing what she says. My ears are so bad. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I also don't that much Fuamoko. I cannot understand them a lot of the time. That's why I sort of go to the Calliope. 
because she is very clear on her pronunciations to my ears. Narissa is as well, but she doesn't play a lot of stuff that I am interested in watching. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Mori's Dark Souls is actually, well, it's supposed to start in about 40-ish minutes, but that will get pushed back for two or three or four or five, because I don't think she's started a single one on time. Uh, your list, watch your gameplay, I really need to watch random game stuff, some Mocha Bear stuff. This is a VTuber one, Mocha Bear definitely all react to his stuff next time around. Oh. Oh. All right. What do we got, YouTube? What do we got? Actually, Herrera was playing some Combat Evolve, and well, this is Halo, so let's go back to some Halo. Yeah, it was Rara. Okay, so this is Rara Rakura of V4 Marai that I'm listening to. He is playing Halo Comet Evolved, not for the first time, it's because she was talking about the Arbiter way ahead of time. And it's probably the first person I've ever heard actually not be all on him. Alright, uh, opening cutscene, a classic of Comet Evolved. Uh, this is, looks like it's old and old graphics too. Oh yeah, this is old graphics. It might even be actual Combat Evolved and not Master Chief Collection. Or the Anniversaries. Hmm, John Master Chief. Took three games to give him a name. <laughs> uh, then you introduce, and it's like... God, I think first page of Fall of Reach. There's his name. And no one aside from those closest to him actually know that. Hey, Captain Keys is not a loser. There's no other man who beat four Covenant ships with one human ship when usually it takes like seven human ships to beat one Covenant ship. What a boss. And we don't get to see anything with that. Well, I suppose they did wipe out a lot of ships on the Back Vector 2 Halo. But also the Covenant didn't want to damage the ring. Sacred ring! Sacred ring! Um, some of the graphics was off. It's like an enhanced version of the classic. But not actual Xbox. Yeah, some of the edges are smoothed out. Some of the effects are better. Well, not that I need a chest at this point, but hey, Crystal Cries. Sexy Cut Cortana. Which actually makes her look more like Halsey. Ooh, get that marine combat deployments going. Uh, good old Johnson. Funny thing is, both he and Sergeant Stecker somehow survived. Johnson has a whole novel about it. Why Stacker and Chips Taboo survived? No one knows. They just did. Not even like generic. Stacker does officially have a very have an actual speaking line in Halo 4. Not physically present, but he is there as part of the Infinity's crew. Even specifically identifies him as Stacker. Man, I'm destroying a lot of these cosmic eggs. Oh my god, is she playing on Legendary? 
That was not, I do not believe that was the normal one. She sees that other than legendary or heroic. Either way, this is going to be pain. Also explain why it's eight hours long. All right. Well, this is a bot anyway, so I can at least pause it. Well, I head on to the final stage. Five mil, seven mil, one mil, three mil. All right. It's tiny bridge time with Lucia Zero, Moonlight Blair, Lance Bean, Ariana, Spread God, and Brad Fang. Yeah, Ariana doesn't have a last name. I don't know why. And in the background, I'm listening to Raw Aurora before Mirai play some Halo Combat Evolved on Legendary. Solo. That will not end well. Uh, so it's probably eight hours for the first episode. Or first stage. But, yeah, that's definitely the Legendary speech from Johnson. I went and looked that up between the recordings. This is not all being recorded in war. So, oh boy, it's annoying. Also, Tiny Bridge is still going to be super annoying. Especially because I got a group that cannot attack to the left at all. Uh, oh, great. Character I don't need. Getting health, getting health. The Hush Casket has been unsealed. No! Uh, crew chief guy whose name I forgot. You died! Uh. Oh, Sam's the guy up top. This is. This guy's not actually named in game, he's named in the Flood book. Yeah, uh, it was... Yep, yeah, she just realized that she put it on Legendary. Yep. Yeah. This is gonna end poorly for me, too. Oh, you got Laurel, so... Oh, man, my weaponry is very not good for this. I only have one guy that can actually clear out the left side. No. Oh, man. She doesn't know when she's getting her weapon and she's on legendary. This is going to end so poorly for her. I mean, it would end excellently for us in the audience, but... We are not the intended recipients... And this is ending poorly. Maybe I should have done Sign Old Sanctuary from the start. I wasn't going to offer much here, that Sign Old Sanctuary won it. In fact, it's actually more dangerous because of the eyeballs. Alright, Chief has met Keys. He's about to get a gun. The impressive panting over a guy with no face. That's got more helmets under there. Oh, man. It's getting worse and worse. Well, I do have a lot of extra revives because of Lucia. It actually gets stronger with each fallout, so it's fine. Antimatter charges. Clearly those Covenant will use so many more of those. Alright, with another Arcana, I can put in some Sun Old Sync reaction and possibly turn this around. Hmm... Oh, the mole isn't helping. Da, 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 da. Oh, protocol. Ooh, shots everywhere. I have to make sure that Lance stays up so I can get leveled to the empty tome at least. Oh, pink Cortana. And she's randomly blue for the rest of the series. Then she has clothes in five. Lasers! Lasers! Lasers everywhere. Alright, almost halfway done. Almost done with the episode. So cool, so cool.
30, it's not 1994. It was all 22. Hey, was it one or two? Or three? Well, it was definitely one of those. Either way, it is over 20 years old. No way it was 04. No way it was 04. Then two should have been in five. Shoot all the lasers. It's grunt times with the Halo pistol. How do you talk about the Avatar and not know how to play? It just never played two. One or Comet Vault. One, it's the same thing. Okay, I got Death Spiral. Means Armadillo and a Tirajisu. Give me some more reviving. And give me the chance to get Pronto Beam and that'll win it for me. She's definitely played it before, she just doesn't remember how it works. Reload. It's because someone was using it and they died. Reload that assault rifle. All that sweet, sweet 60 rounds per second. Why? Why? Oh, it's her first time on controller. That makes more sense. Still, the Halo Combat Vault Arsenal is absolutely insane. They're actually still the best assault rifle in the series. It's just, it's got... Stiff competition, because, well, the pistol and the shotgun are absolutely psychotic. Pistol is legendary for a reason. But, yeah, Halo Combat Evolved Assault Rifle. It's got the most damage, the most rounds, the fastest firing rate, and the most range, and even the fastest bubble velocity. So, well... Well, one of, one of those might be wrong, but it's definitely, on raw stat-wise, the best one, period. Well, Reaches is absolutely awful and completely redeemable trash. And then after that, it's probably Infinites. It's just the assault rifle ammo. You have 600 rounds. There's no waste in it. Lasers! Lasers! Just getting used to this combat before she gets annihilated by the elites in the cafeteria fight. Hey, it's Firelags and Grace Jubilee combined. Laser wall. Laser wall. Hey, I broke out of bounds again. F is grenade, cause F that guy. Are there? One is change weapon, huh? In it, we're all British in this house. I wonder if I can take initiative on my own. Huh. Well, that's the thing to think about. Oh, get out! Oh, uh, that's for the legendary ending. You'll see that eventually. Oh, they went down really easy. It was definitely the legendary Johnson speech at the start. Killed them pretty dang easy. Did they change the speech? No, they shouldn't have changed the speech. I definitely looked it up on the wiki. Mm. Her shield did evaporate instantly, but on the other hand, she's taking health damage. This isn't anniversary, so it couldn't have changed it. She doesn't switch the graphics around. Man. Already sweating. Well, heck, I am too, even though I have no trouble whatsoever here. Wart, wart, wart. Wart, wart, wart. 
Let's just go backwards, slow down horribly. Hey, a candy box. Or you, character three. Oh, here's your paranormal scan. Who cares about the pyramid of humanity? Love. Okay, all the marines are dead, so it can't be normal. They can usually win the cafeteria fight because there's like 50 of them there. Gotta keep on the pressure. That's why all the talk about how... No, oh, with Halo... You can just sit back and regenerate your shields and there's no threat and blah blah blah. Well, yeah, the elites regenerate their shields and they're the biggest threat too. Also, you aren't going to usually get yourself into an unwinnable situation if you lose all your stuff at the wrong spot. Open a chest, get more weapon pickup. This pistol in that elite. Hey. Wait. Why did why did it grunt birthday party? Why did it grunt birthday party for Mume and Cecilia too? Is this Master Chief collection? Yeah, there's no grunt birthday party in combat of all this has to be Master Chief collection. More droning. Good more at the end. Yay, ending. Let's grab all the power-ups. Oh, man, she's not even gonna get through the cafeteria. And there's the end. And you know this. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Death Spiral at 6, one at Santa, one at Spreadshot, and one at Greatest Jubilee. And victory. Thanks for watching the Vampire Survivor's Bez Wig. That is 1,249 stages done as we go around with Brad Fang. Also, the main character is actually Lucia Zero. But that was taken care of. That leaves 706 more to go. And the next character control will be Brownie. We're here on Lake Foscari, and maybe Horse will finally get in. Thanks again for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. Either way, I hope everyone has a good day and you keep mezzing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.